Hello again guys, Lego Train Addict here for a video today. It is going to be on what to expect from kind of early 2015. So up until like May or something like that. But anyway, as you can see these are my two trains that I have right now. One of them, that one there, that one's fully running. You know, I can use it any time I want. That one there is still in progress. It's not going to be powered by a normal train motor, it's going to be powered by something else. As you can see, if you've seen my mock review of that train, it looks different. It looks quite different, actually. You can see it's still got the trailer behind the engine, and that is to hold the battery box, while this unit here is going to be powered by an XL motor, which will sit right in the back right there. Since the XL motor is five studs wide, and this is only six, what I've had to do is I've had to actually rem put, you know, remove the walls and, you know, make these kind of walls on their side, like that, made out of plates. You can see here, this is where the XL motor would sit. There are some pins, as you can see in there, where it will be stuck to. You can see there with the light, and yeah. So right now this thing here is just the shaft for hand power, and you can see it's one of these kind of things. It does spin pretty fast. So yeah, that's pretty much that. I'll turn the light off now, and I might be modifying that Lego train that I, you know, that one there, to have the same kind of idea, like this kind of motor but it will have an L motor since the L motor is only four studs wide and the actual interior is four studs wide as well so that would fit and yeah that's it I don't know 100% if I will modify that train to have the L motor powering the um thing to make it go faster I might just keep it with the normal train motors because it's more convenient and requires less maintenance to you know realign the gears and all that sort of stuff because sometimes they can fall apart if you use it a lot and I've had this one fall apart a few times so I've had to make a few design changes so it would stay together properly so yeah that's pretty much to do with my trains and I might be making another train it will be more of a cargo train so it's not going to be one of those high speed trains, it's going to be a more traditional cargo train and yeah, it's going to be powered by an L motor none of the train, you know, because that's faster, not the train motor that you usually see because that's not all that fast the L motor more the L motor does spin slower than the M motor but the L motor has more torque so it means it can spin faster with a heavier load and you know it can climb hills better it can pull heavier loads better faster and all that sort of good stuff and that's why I'm using the XL motor in that because it spins about the same as an M motor and L motor but it has so much torque that it can spin that really highly geared shaft at a pretty decent speed meaning that this thing can be propelled pretty fast Instead of, you know, like, this kind of speed, which, yeah, it's just not fast enough. And another thing is to note, when you're playing with these kind of trains, when you're driving that train motor, or any kind of motor, really, the AAA battery box, with the AAA batteries, obviously, does actually perform better at driving electronic components than a AA battery box and I have found that out myself because a AA battery box does not actually make the motor go faster than a AAA, the AAA does make it go faster and I believe that the LEGO's pre-assembled rechargeable battery pack, that sort of fancy stuff will propel the motors faster because it has you know, it's just got a bigger battery so yeah, that's pretty much that and all that sort of stuff on motors and what's coming up early 2014 or 2015 should I say 
So yeah, you sh should expect that after March, but before May kind of area. And just more things to note. I have got that there. If you want to review on it, I'll stick some Lego treads on it, and I can review that. There's also that train that you can see right there. The camera wants to focus. I might buy normal Lego train motors if the camera will stop going all berserk. Yep, that one. Right there in the background. There you go. But yeah, I might buy normal train mode or train motors to stick on that train. I don't know yet. Because the problem is when you have Lego trains, when you want to cover up the motors, you need these special pieces which you cannot really buy separately off the Lego Pick a Brick website, which is kind of really annoying. So there's that. And that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. As always, you know, share your thoughts, what I should do. And thank you for watching. Lego Train Act out.